His obituary would have read, Celebrity John Tesh commits suicide by drowning off the Jersey Shore. When, when pain takes your faith away, you know, it really can. The only thing that's left is the people who believe in you, who can help keep you connected to God. He's always had the Midas touch. John Tesh's career in broadcasting and entertainment has garnered him a host of accolades. Three gold records, two Grammy nominations, six Emmys, and an Associated Press Award for investigative journalism, just to name a few. Everybody remembers John as the popular co-host of Entertainment Tonight. He stunned a lot of viewers by leaping out of broadcasting into his first passion, music. So I'm the poster boy for quit your job, follow your dream. Now he's performing live on stage and speaking over the airwaves from his own radio show, Intelligence for Your Life. When I sat down to catch up with John, we talked about a wide range of topics from social networking to humanitarian relief. So I was shocked when for the first time publicly, John brought up how a back injury took him on a dark journey of excruciating pain and hopelessness. Yeah, I had a, uh, a piece of disc material in my spine came off and landed on my, uh, on my nerve root and paralyzed me. And so I, I, I started a new journey. As the pain got progressively worse, John did his radio show on his back. He tried keeping his suffering in perspective. Nothing compared to what other people have to go through, but the pain is real. Yeah. You know, and, and, and people, I will take a pain pill. Ah, uh -uh, yeah. man, it's like taking an aspirin when you broke your leg. That stuff doesn't work. Right. I was in one of these pain centers where they give the epidurals and this lady who's been, I later found out, was, had been in pain for 20 years. She looks over at me and she says, oh, you're such a youngster at this. You're going to get your spine fixed. You'll be out of here and I'm, and I'm still going to be in here in, in pain. Consider yourself lucky. Consider yourself blessed. And you know what? I'm going to pray for you right now. Whoa. And I'm thinking, this woman who knows that for the rest of her life, you know, through failed back surgery, she's going to be living that life in excruciating, excruciating pain, and she still had the energy to pray for me, and I felt pretty horrible at that, at that moment. John says pain became the focus of his life. I was in so much pain. I couldn't take pain pills. They didn't work. Connie, she's just such a, such a trooper, but, but she, I don't think she knew how bad it was until she came in and she caught me. I'd, I'd had a, I don't know if you've ever had an anxiety attack, but I had never had one before, I didn't know what it was. And so she caught me um, on the floor at about two o'clock in the morning. Um, I couldn't breathe and I was just like, you know, <coughs> like that. And, and she knew what to do. She grabbed a paper bag and she had me breathe into the paper bag and, and, and yeah, I was hyperventilating. John says he knew other patients in the pain center were far worse. He had support from his wife, Connie, and Facebook fans offered prayers. Still, the pain screamed louder. And I had been in horrible, excruciating pain for four straight months. And I lost the use of my left leg. I was in a wheelchair. I couldn't play music anymore. John convinced himself the only way to stop the pain was to take his own life. He planned to get drunk and let the ocean take him under. What it was was the doctor said, you can't go in the water because you won't be able to make it out because I'm like crawling to the water because of my leg. And I had downed about a half a bottle of vodka and, and I'm in a wetsuit heading to the ocean in, in, on the Jersey Shore, gonna go for a swim. What I was trying to do was kill myself because I just couldn't take the pain anymore. John's suicide attempt ended in the arms of his son, Gib. He grabbed me and said, he said, you want to go for a swim? And I said, yeah. <laughs> he took me and he held me in the water as the waves washed over me and the tears came down, you know. And I realized that, you know, that was, I had a lot to, you know, to live for. A successful back surgery eventually restored John's health. When you get taken down like that, you, it puts everything in perspective. And you're healed now? I am. I so am. the prayer Thank worked? God. Prayer worked, and everybody was praying for me. What did you, you know? learn in that kind of suffering? I learned that, learned the power of intercessory prayer, mm. and I learned that you can never do it alone. And your faith is intact now? More than ever. Yeah. More than ever. I've tried everything, and the only thing that works for me is Jesus Christ.
I mean, I, 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 have, I guarantee you, at 58 years old, I have tried everything. And, you know, new age, this, that, whatever, you know. The only thing that works, it works is, uh, is a connection to God.